this was a, a kid who could have moved the world and because his life was taken from him, we've lost that. The family of Christopher C.J. Otto Jr. continues to heal. As they say, some justice was served today. Arlissa Irwin was in Judge Lachata's courtroom for the sentencing of 37-year-old Nicholas Hetzer, the man accused of shooting and killing Otto. And she joins us now in the studio. Alyssa, the family was offering some grace today to the defendant. Angie, that's right. As tears and memories flooded the room from the family of the 30-year-old Duran man whose life was cut short, it's alleged Hetzer shot and killed CJ while they were riding together on I-75 near Miller Road in April of 2023. Almost 14 months later, it's still a loss the family says they will continue to feel. We are looking forward to a day when the memories bring less tears and more smiles. It was April of last year when Lisa Herbert and her family received the news. Her son was the victim in a shooting. He was caring, kind, compassionate, um, very loving, and um, he was loved by everyone. He was a diamond in the rough. He was shiny in this dark and dreary world. He helped people. He loved people. He forgave people. Over a dozen family members were there for the sentencing of the man charged with shooting and killing CJ, then leaving the man's body near the Coolidge Park Apartments on Van Buren Avenue. The defendant, Nicholas Hetzer, will spend at least 27 to 50 years in prison for second-degree murder and weapons charges. He told the family he was sorry for their loss and that he couldn't take his actions back. Um, and I know my son, and I know that... He was a very forgiving soul, and he, I, I feel comfortable saying he would forgive Nick. So um, knowing that Nick is sorry is a comfort. As family continues to heal from a broken heart, today they say was a step to put the criminal case to rest. But this isn't a loss that's ever going to go away. Mm -hmm. um, I just hope time will make it better. It'll be with us every day of our life. Um, in order to grieve, though, that means that we loved. Hetzer entered a no-contest plea in May for a plea deal. It was not an admission of guilt, but indicates he accepts the punishment for what happened. As for the sentence, he received 434 days of jail time, credit to the two weapons felonies. No credit time for the murder charge. Here in studio, Alyssa Irwin with ABC 12 News.